This is Fernando coming to you from beautiful Geelong, Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. How exciting is that? So today my uh, question I'm posing here, uh, so in today's message the question is, what has money got to do with the circulation in your body? And if you've been following along with me for a little bit now, as you know I do a Facebook Live or some sort of message every single day, you know that one of my favorite books is The Miracle of Mind Dynamics by Dr. Joseph Murphy. In fact, uh, many books by Joseph Murphy, including The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, because that's where the secret lies, the secret to everything. And I was reading recently uh, in, in one of his recordings, actually, um, which is an extension of what he talks about in The Miracle of Mind Dynamics, how wealth and, and the circulation of your blood are one and the same. So let me put it to you this way. What would happen... Uh, to you if the blood in your body stopped circulating what do you think might happen uh, I asked my kids this question in the car they said you'll die <laughs> right so it's a good chance something bad's going to happen right if the blood is not circulating in our body and so it's really important that blood is flowing and yet when we talk about money right because because the blood in our body and money come from the same source everything comes from spirit Right, like it's the same fountain, right? Everything comes from the same place, uh, but we don't always understand that, so we think it's different, and then we just, you know, we, we get stuck. We, we get stuck because we are so used to processing life through our natural senses, our sight, our hearing, our smell, our taste, and our touch. And so, the the, the challenge, I guess, or the, what what I want to share with you is um, just to to think about. I mean, logically, if you think about it logically, it just makes so much sense, right? If your blood stops circulating, you become unwell. What happens when money stops circulating in your life? What happens if money stops flowing in? You become unwell, right? Because then you've got problems, you've got financial stress, you've got anxiety, you've got stress, you've got overwhelm, you've got depression maybe in some cases for some people. And so we have to keep the, the money flowing. And yet, when you suggest to people that we should give money away, it's like, well, I can't give money away because I don't have enough. Uh, and so, you know, how can I give money away when I've scarcely got enough to buy stuff for myself? And so that just illustrates our lack of awareness about how universe works. And so, th there's another part to this because I know for, uh, I mean, I've known some of these principles for a long time and, and as much as I can, uh, what I used to do and, and still do today is when I've gone out to uh, buy a coffee typically in the morning, I would often, not always, I have to say, but often, would pay for the coffee behind me. I typically go through a drive through coffee place and uh, I'll buy a coffee for the next person. So when they come up to the counter and they go to pay for their coffee, someone's paid for their coffee. And you typically would put a smile on their face, you would hope. And on the person that's going to give them the coffee, they're like, oh, wow, I'm going to do something good. And of course, the person. And I actually felt really blessed uh, two days ago because I went to pay for my coffee and, and the guy said to me, someone just paid for your coffee and it was just so nice. I mean, it's only $4.50, but it's just a gesture to know that, you know, we've sewed and sewed and sewed and something's come back. But here's the danger that I want to I wanna just share with you with, when it comes to flowing money and giving money. Um, we could, once we get an understanding of how unis, universe works, what sometimes the, the temptation is to say, well, if I give, I'm going to get back. And so now we are consciously giving to get back. And so that's actually not giving, that's trading, right? We're trading, it's like, so I'm going to give you because I don't want to get it back. And so when we start trading, then we're really sabotaging the process and you can't really fool universe because it comes, it's out of the heart, it's out of the, abund the abundance of the heart, it's the flow. And so it may be that at first you start trading because, you know, now you've just gone through this process, you've heard this maybe for the first time, but you've got to give. And so you must start giving money away. Um, but you will get to a point where it just becomes natural. Now, you know, how do you do this? I mean, you just, you know, do you have to give to church? And I know that's a whole different question. Some people debate whether you should tithe or shouldn't tithe or what have you. Uh, I'm not talking about that at all here. I'm just talking about flowing money. So if you go to a restaurant, and I know that in the States, some parts of the world, it's, uh, it, it's almost an expectation that you tip. You know, you have to tip the waiter or restaurants. In Australia, we don't typically have tipping as a, as a standard. People get paid wages, and that's it. You know, you don't, they don't rely on your tips for their wages. But what you could do here, and what I do, is I often, I, I do give them an extra 10% to say thank you for your service. It's about flowing the money. Um, so the challenge that I want to put out to you, um, and here's the thing, right, just before I give you the challenge, 
Um, with universe, it's about the habit, not about the amount. It's about the flow, it's about the process. So you might say, Fernando, I've scarcely got enough to pay my bills, I've scarcely got enough to take care of my commitments, responsibilities. If all you can spare is five cents, start flowing that five cents somewhere. It's, it's about the process, it's about the habit, it's about the flow. And then just see how it makes you feel and just see what comes and start to notice, right? And then you get to a point where that five cents becomes 50 cents and then it might become five dollars or what have you as you keep on going. So a little bit of uh, inspiration, I guess, is what I would call this message, just to inspire you to, to understand that as your blood flows and it comes from the same place, so does money. And so when we understand that, we want to start flowing our money uh, so that we can attract more of the same. Like if you, if you stop the flow, um, then you get sick. You're not just physically sick, but financially sick. And if we are already, by our own uh, perception, we're financially unwell at the moment, then maybe just maybe we need to start giving more. Okay? And there is a, a whole poem about that, uh, which I won't quote here. Uh, but it, it's, uh, it's about a guy who uh, didn't have enough and he went to a wise man and the wise man said, uh, well, if you want more, you've got to give more. Right? Even though he felt he didn't have enough to, to give. And I guess the moral of that story is that as he turned his life to useful living, then joy crowned his days because he became rich in giving. And so the richness comes from the giving part, not the getting part. Right? So, hope you're inspired by that. Um, hope it makes a difference to your day. Uh, put it into action. If there's no action, nothing matters. And we'll go from there. So let's have a look now at who we've got here. Uh, hey, Mary, thanks for joining uh, from the States. Courtney, thank you for joining with me. Leave a comment below. Do you use these principles? Do you, do you flow money? Do you pay for people's coffees? Do you, um, uh, do you give money away to charities? Uh, you know, how do you keep money flowing? Uh, irrespective of where you may be, you may be well off financially, you may be just you know, making ends meet, whatever. It doesn't really matter where you're at. It's not about where we're at, it's about where we're heading, it's about where we're going, it's about the flow, and it's about our awareness and how we live our life uh, in terms of making a difference. Uh, for others and ultimately for ourselves and our families all right so thank you very much robin thanks for joining i uh, hope you enjoy the message take care and bye for now